Welcome to Knitting the Nose with Dr. B. Today I would like to share some exercises for building up the firm fingertips that I've talked about in several other videos. These are isometric exercises, I think. In um, Knitting the Notes number two, I, just, I demonstrated how you could play using a firm fingertip co uh, combined with a relaxed arm weight. And then in Knitting the Notes 11, I demonstrated some exercises for developing a relaxed arm drop or relaxed arm weights. And in this video, I just want to share a few isometric exercises that I've learned over the years. During my freshman year at Oberlin, John Owings, my piano professor, um, showed me some basic exercises where you just press your fingertips together just enough to have some resistance, not enough to make them buckle. And this will build up the little tiny muscles around your first knuckle joint that will help you to play the piano with firm fingertips. Um, and you can do them like as a whole hand or as separate fingers. And then some years later, I ran across a uh, Seymour Bernstein's workshop, I think he came to Madison, and also bought his books. This one is called, and I'm sure you can get these in a, in a used book section of Amazon or Alibris or whatever, 20 Lessons in Keyboard Choreography by Seymour Bernstein. And, or, and on page 46, he has a couple pictures here and a demonstration or a explanation really of this springing motion that he advocates where one hand set of fingers is on top of the other fingers and the hand closes and opens. So you're fighting the resistance of one hand against the other and he recommends doing that about 10 times with each hand to help build the hand shape and the firm fingertips, firm knuckle joint there. Um, and then in his book for younger people, which is called Music Physicality on page 33, he has some exercises for individual fingers where he likes to have the hand like this and then have the other hand pressing and having some resistance on the fingers uh, like that. And then with the thumb, the resistance is sideways because of course the fingers operate like this and the thumb operates sideways. So I'm sure that if you go on YouTube, there will be other videos somewhere about um, isometric exercises for firm fingertips, but perhaps I'm the first, you never know. Um, so that's what I've got for you today, just something to help build up uh, those muscles in the t t uh, tips of your fingers. And one thing I would say is that when you're pr uh, teaching children, the, by about the time that you really get their hand shape and technique perfected, they will have a growth spurt and you get to start all over again. So you get lots of your opportunities to build those fine piano playing hands. Thank you very much for joining us with Knitting the Notes with Dr. B. Have a good evening.